All right, Zerg friends, this is Fenna, and it's time for a replay cast. Someone nice hooked me up with a bunch of Stefano replays, which I'm going to go ahead and cast. In fact, I'm going to make this a Stefano week, guys. It's going to be from Wednesday to next Wednesday, a Stefano replay cast every single day, because it's so hard to get replays nowadays, and since I've got a hold of someone who's pretty popular, I'm sure most of the people who watch my YouTube cha channel know of Stefano, and probably love him as well as one of the most beloved foreigners out there. Now, I have been expect, um, told to expect swarm hosts a lot, which could be fun, or it could not be fun. We can see how that goes, but let's go ahead and introduce these players. In the top right of Yonsu LE, we've got a red Protoss here. It is Elfi. And in the bottom left of the map, we have none other than Stefano, the barcode. So he is under a barcode, he's not actually using the name Stefano. And he was previously on Team Evil Geniuses, but he did leave those when he retired. Now Stefano, probably the highest earning foreigner, I think. He's won so many tournaments, so many major tournaments. He won two Lone Star Clashes. He came third at a Red Bull Battlegrounds. He won the IPL4, which is like his big breakout tournament. Then he won a bunch of other ones like the WCS Europe as well. Um, the ESWC 2011 Cup. He won 3-1 against Mana for $26,000. <laughs> He's won a decent amount of money. Actually, he won IPL4. Uh, IPL3, sorry, not IPL4. But he did win the IPL4 qualifiers, so he took down IPL3 and made a lot of money from there. And he was kind of the one who revolutionized Broodlord in Pesta and ZVP and Wings of Liberty as well. Which uh, everyone whined about for quite a long time. And But the main thing he revolutionized was the Roachmax, I guess. The Stefano Roachmax and ZVP. And if it didn't work out for him, then he went into Broodlord in Pesta. And uh, we've got Elfie here as well here. Uh, Elfie is known as one of the slowest players in StarCraft 2 who plays at a pro level. I'm not sure what his APM is, um, but he's definitely known as one of the slowest players. And Stefano, he's having a look at the expansion here. And Elfie is going to go ahead and take that. Stefano has gone for the gas build here. So he's going to pick up fast gas and he's going to use that fast gas to try and defend possibly a third base. There's a lot of... Uh, double evo ling builds that you can do off this as well but since he has picked up the speed and pulled off gas i think he's gonna take the third base otherwise he wouldn't have pulled off gas and a lot of people also get the upgrades before the speed when they do those double evo ling builds as well stargate on the way for elfie so fast that's almost 430 starting on the stargate right there only one gateway out there's gonna be no defense at all he's just got two pylons at the front and he's only just Start an Exalet as well. All he's got is a Mothership Call. This is so risky from Elfie. And this is why he is at the highest level. But he's really slow. He does these kind of risky all-in builds that he's known for. And, you know, he can get away with it because generally people aren't aggressive in early games EVP. If Stefano did happen to go 14-14 or something like that, then Elfie would be dead. But no one does that, so he doesn't have to worry about it. It doesn't look like Stefano... He's actually picking up the third base though. Looks like he's content to just stick on two base here. He has put back onto the gas geyser now. And he's picking up a second one as well. We'll see where he... Oh, he's going for a Roach Warren already. I'm surprised he hasn't taken the third base. Two base Roach. I mean, he's got to take the third base real soon. Otherwise, he'll just fall behind in economy. So, what if we... we've got an Oracle on the way here? We've got a Ling in the natural. Two Lings, actually. Two probe kills right there. Three probe kills. Now go for the fourth. The sentry is coming down. This is the problem with Elfie's build right here. Just a couple of Zerglings can do so much damage. But now the Oracle is on the way as well. The Spore Crawlers are not ready yet. He's only got one at the front. He's expecting DTs or something like that. But here's the Oracle. He has got two Queens there. So the Oracle not going to do too much damage. Just going to sit it here. But Stefano with his Queens. Not the best control from Elfie here. He's not even controlling it. But it does manage to survive there. And five more, ro five more, not five more, just five roaches all together on the way for Stefano here. And still no third base. This is strange. He has got lings in the main base, so we can see exactly what's going on and react to that. He might be, think he might be thinking right now, Elf is playing so greedy, I'm just going to build roaches and pressure him. But he is taking down this pylon as well. 
Elfie was probably looking for a zealot warp in there. And now Stefano is going to go back to droning. Now he knows that everything, now he knows about everything that's going on in the main base of Elfie. He can go straight back to droning, not worry about too much, and I do expect him to take that third base, which he is doing right now, so he will be able to catch up in economy. In fact, Elfie's economy is pretty bad because he did lose a couple of probes there to the Zerglings, and the Oracle didn't really do anything either. It was still alive, but no kills on it yet, and when you don't get kills on Oracles, they're not good, man. They just they don't go well into the mid-game because they're pretty damn useless at fighting actual armies. They're pretty much purely a harassment unit. Pylon gets taken down there, but the other pylon does power the great gateway, but Stefano's going in now, he's going deep! Two roaches going into the main base, Oracle activating its weapon there to try and save him, but it doesn't look like Stefano's got enough here, even just these zealots and sentries, along with the Mothership core and the Nexus cannon, are gonna be able to hold this off, so Stefano putting a lot of units into this, but not getting too much done. He has traded pretty decently though, so it's not like their worst trade on the planet. He killed a bunch of units of Elthys, and Elfie killed a bunch of units of Stefano, so pretty even trade overall, I think. Uh, we have got a robo facility on the way for Elfie now. For some reason it won't let me click it. But there it is. Now Elfie... He's pretty good at mortal sentries, man. But I don't think that's what it's gonna be, because he is picking up void rays right now. It just looks like a typical... Immortal void ray into Colossus expand kind of build, because he is picking up the forge as well. So he wants to get those upgrades. If it was an immortal sentry, he'd probably not get the void rays. He probably would not get the forge, and he probably wouldn't be working on these rocks either. I've got the oracle still alive. Can it get any damage done in this game? It's very unlikely. There's still a spore crawler down there. The queen's ready here. He's not controlling it again. This is the thing about Elfie being slow. He's always he's got really good builds, and he's really good at controlling a main army, but. Anything else, like multitasking and macro, is, is really weak at, so he relies a lot on builds, I think that's how Elfie works. We've got a Void Ray coming down here right now. There's no Spore Crawler, but there is a second Queen just up here, so he's going to be able to attack this and then move, move his other Queen down there, and he should be able to bat it away quite easily right there. And there we go, the Void Ray gets pushed back. Now, how is Stefano going to play this? Are there going to be any Swarm Hosts on the way? Right now... It does just look like a Hydra play. Since he has seen the Void Ray, Hydra timings are really good against Void Rays. He hasn't actually fully drowned up yet though. Is he going to do that before hitting a timing? He's also going Queens as well, so I think Stefano is on the thought process that this is a heavy air play from Elfie, since Queens and Hydras are really good against Void Rays. Queen Hydra pressure is something that... Whoa! Elfie's actually going to go all in with this! I didn't think this was going to happen at all. But he's definitely going to... He looks so weak, the army is... It's tiny! Two Amols, a couple of sentries, one Void Ray, and an Oracle, and one Stalker. It, it... It... It looks too weak. This... Like, the army for Stefano here is... It's perfect. He does get the reveal on there, but he's got Queens in here for the range. He's got Hydras to shoot over those force fields, and there's so much creep out as well. As long as Stefano doesn't botch this, I'm pretty sure... Well, for some reason Stefano's army doesn't look that big either. He is running around the back here trying to get that pylon, but with these 12 Hydras, they're going to make a big difference. Just going to be able to shoot over those force fields with the spines that they do spin out, but Elf is pushing the... He's pushing in quick. He doesn't want to mess about. There's a lot of force fields here. He needs to be careful. Double time up goes down. One force field. A couple more force fields, but only two roaches caught. They actually managed to slip out. Two roaches on... Roaches... Uh, force fields on the ramp there. And so this is going to cut out a lot of the units. This isn't the best engagement for Stefano. I think he needs to pull back the main army, but he pulls the rest around the back. It might be enough for Stefano. I think it will be. There's just way too many Hydras for Stefano here. Even with the bad engagement, Stefano Stefano was just way too far ahead, and GG from Elfie. Nice play there by Stefano. Counterattack. So this is a really strong way to play in a ZVZ. Even just two roaches on a counterattack can force so much from your opponent. Not that they're going to do a lot of damage. That's not the key part of a counterattack. The main thing that you're getting from a counterattack 